Hi all, today we will be discussing about the theory of indicators. We already seen that the indicators used in acid based titrations called pH indicators and these pH indicators are either weak acids or bases and they show a difference in color in accordance with the presence of an acid or a base or we can say a change in pH. So there are two theories put forwarded for explaining the working of acid base indicators. So they are first one is Ostwald's theory and the second one is Kinanoid theory. So let's see each one in detail. The first one is Ostwald's theory or we can say ionic theory. As per Ostwald's theory the color change of an acid base indicator is a result of its ionization. The indicators show different color in ionized and non-ionized states. The color of the indicator depends upon the proportion of unionized and ionized states of an indicator. So the indicator can exist in ionized form and unionized form and the color of the indicator in ionized form and unionized form will be different. The second point is that as the acid base indicator is either a weak acid or a base, its ionization is affected by the presence of an acid or base. That is example we can say if the indicator is a weak acid, its ionization will be very low in acid. This is because of the common ion effect and its ionization will be well in alkalis. So we will explain this Ostwald's theory with an example that is phenophthalene. We will see the action of phenophthalene. So phenophthalene is a weak organic acid and it, it can be denoted as HPH and it is unionized in acidic medium that is it exists as unionized in acidic medium. Its unionized molecules will be colorless and on ionization it gives a pink color pH minus ions. So this system can be denoted as HPH. It undergo ionization and we will get pH minus ions and H plus ions. So when it is ionized it will be colorless and when it is ionized it has got a pink color because of the pH minus ions. So next is what happened in the presence of an acid and base. So in the presence of acid due to increased concentration of H plus ion this ionization will be very less or we can say ionization of this indicator will be suppressed and the solution will become colorless that is the solution the system will move towards the right hand side and because of the same ion effect or we can say common ion effect and the indicator will remain as colorless and upon the addition of strong acids like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide the hydroxyl ions combined with H plus ions from phenophthalein and the equilibrium equilibrium sorry equilibrium will be disturbed and more phenophthalein will be ionized so the system will move towards the right hand side and the indicator will remain as pink because of the pH minus ions so now we will see an example another example that is methyl orange apart from that phenophthalein it is a weak organic base it can be denoted as MEOH its ionized molecule is yellow while it gives red colored red color in ionized state because of the ME minus ions the system can be denoted as MEOH it get ionized and gives Me plus and OH minus ions. So in unionized form it shows yellow color and in ionized form it gives red color. So if the base is added to the indicator the hydroxide ions will suppress the ionization because of the common ion effect. 
so the indicator will remain yellow in alkaline medium but if you added an acid the completely ionized H plus ions will force the equilibrium to the right by removing OH minus ions so this results in the formation of red colored Me plus ions in the solution so overall it can be denoted with the help of a tabled column so here it is shown indicators like phenolphthalein and methyl orange the nature phenolphthalein is a weak acid and methyl orange is a weak base so in ionized state and in unionized state each indicators show different color and the next theory is quinonoid theory as per this theory the color of the organic compound depends upon the structure of their molecule the intermolecular rearrangement results in the change in the color of the indicator that is the acid base indicators are aromatic organic compounds and it exists as a equilibrium mixtures of two tautomeric forms there will be two tautomeric forms one is called benzenoid form and the other one is called quinonoid form and both have some structural differences that is shown as here and as per the structural differences it shows different color that is benzenoid form has got another particular color and quinonoid form has some different color compared to the benzenoid form the quinonoid form is usually deeper in color than benzenoid form one of the tautomeric form exist in acid solution while the other in alkaline solution therefore as the ph of the solution varies the color of the indicator also varies due to the interconversion of this tautomeric forms so the conversion of this tautomeric forms is very much depend upon the ph of the solution this also explain with the help of an example that is phenolphthalein phenolphthalein is a dibasic acid and it possesses a benzenoid structure in acidic medium and it will be colorless and it possesses a quinonoid structure in alkaline medium and it gives a pink color so in alkaline medium the h plus ions produced by the indicator will combines with hydroxide ions and the equilibrium will shift towards right producing a pink color in acidic medium the disassociation of phenolphthalein is suppressed because phenolphthalein is a weak organic acid then the equilibrium shifts to the left and the solution becomes colorless so it can be shown with a structural difference so we can see this is the structure of phenolphthalein and here you can see a benzenoid structure and a quinonoid structure benzenoid structure is colorless and a quinonoid structure is pink so that's all about the theories of indicators thank you